Okay, today I'm going to show you a very simple and very effective bass setup. This is for catching sea bass from either the shore or from an anchored boat. Now, you have your swivel set up here. This is your main line coming in here, which then you thread on a small swivel here. You can then put a bead on, that's completely optional. And then you put your main swivel here. I tend to use a clip swivel because it goes down to the hook here and I can change this as soon as I catch a fish or I can have another bait, another hook baited up and just switch them over without wasting any time. I mean at night if you're trying to put peeler crab on with elastic sometimes it's better to pre-bait before you go a couple of hooks. Then here you've got your weight trace. Now I use a bullet weight. The reason I use a bullet weight is if you're fishing rocks you'll be able to lift these out the rocks a lot easier and you won't lose as many leads when you're bringing your gear back in in heavy ground. Now they can be anything from half ounce like this one up to say two ounce. If you're fishing off a sandy beach you probably want to use a different weight for obviously so it doesn't roll around uh, torpedo lead or something like that and of course this line in rough ground I'd make it anything four six pounds something like that but that's only because I'd rather this snap off when a big fish takes it than have this hanging around in the rocks. When you're on the sand you can afford to use a heavier line and not lose your weight. Now, as far as this goes, always try and make your swivel, your weight swivel, smaller than that swivel. And that's purely if you don't use the bead, it won't get jammed into your other swivel here. You can use two clip swivels if you prefer. You don't have to keep. Um, just a single swivel or the other way you can just use two normal swivels if you don't mind tying tying the trace on each time. The reason I do it this way is because when I'm fishing at night in the dark I don't want to end up putting the hook onto this. As soon as you cast this will slide up the line and your bait will just be floating around on the surface until it actually sinks. And that's it. That has produced many many bass over the years. More bass than any other setup apart from if I was drift fishing in a boat, I'd use a long flowing trace. But if I'm actually stationary, that's the setup I always use. Now there are other methods, obviously repilers, lures and that, but we'll cover that in another video. So I hope this has been of help and it will catch you a lot of bass.